And we have for it returned. Welcome back to the stream, ladies and gentlemen, and all you fine folks. Welcome back to Retro Sunday. That right there was a song called Being Friends. That was, uh, well, it's a song that was originally from the um, Mother soundtrack. Well, that right there just seems like it was a version of it that they did for Smash Ultimate, that they sort of just mixed a bunch of different Mother songs together. But yes, today the game is going to be, as you've probably already guessed, Mother for the Nintendo. I really agonized over which Retro Sunday game I was going to do today, because originally I was going to do the original Final Fight, but the more I thought about it is... because what I've got on hand readily available to play is the original SNES port of Final Fight, and most of my fond memories of Final Fight as a kid are of Final Fight 2 and Final... F well, 2. That, that's not 2, that's 1. Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3 which were both games that were made specifically for the Super Nintendo. And uh, the port for the SNES of uh, the original Final Fight was kind of crappy, now that I remember. So I think I might wait until I get um, the Capcom beat em up bundle for the Switch, or, well, I think I can get it for other things, but I'd like to get it for the Switch. Because apparently that is the best version of the original Final Fight you can get now outside of the arcade, so... But it did occur to me that, I mean, today is Mother's Day, and I have been meaning to play the original Mother because I want to play through the whole series again. Well, I say again, the only one I've ever played is Earthbound. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play that. So, um, as I always do, let's give a little bit of a rundown here. Let me break, bring up my info. So, Mother is a video game that was, of course, created by Nintendo, but uh, the main like, you know, words. Words are failing me now. I'll get it out there. The main creator, shall we say, is a guy named, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, I'm sure, but uh, Shigesato Itoi is the name of the guy. And he's, well, especially at the time, he was a fairly big celebrity in Japan. He was like an artist, a, uh, a designer. I think he made a bunch of commercials for people, that kind of thing. He was basically a jack-of-all-trades. I think he was a copywriter, too. Presumably he still is, but yeah, like, you know, well, a jack-of-all-trades. I mean, I don't know what sort of jobs he does now. But yeah, Mother was basically his whole thing. Like, like for video games. He was never anyone in the video game industry. These three games are the only ones he ever really did. So, the original Mother was released for the Famicom in Japan back in July 27th, um, 1989. So we're coming up on the anniversary of its release date. And it was also released on the Game Boy Advance in Japan, June 20th, 2003. And it finally got a worldwide release, or at the very least in North America, and I think also Europe, during the on the virtual console for the Wii U back in June 14th, 2015. Now, unfortunately, that's not the version of the game I'm personally going to be playing myself, because I don't own a Wii U and I don't have anything I can get it on. So I'm going to be playing a... Uh, it's something called the 25th anniversary hack, I've been told. Uh, there, there's a lot of contention over what is the best way to play this game. But I do know the original was very grind-heavy, much like a lot of RPGs of that era were. So this version is apparently a bit more streamlined, and the translation is done by a fairly um, renowned fan translator. Like, he apparently did one of the best fan translations for this game. So we're going to go with that one. And the other thing I always do for this is, let's take a look at the video game cover. Now, the, the this was one of the covers for Mother. This is the one I'm most familiar with, I think, is this is one I've seen the most. I, I don't know what one this is, like where, like, I, I guess it must have been, because this almost seems like a North American box art for it, except it was never released in North America. So there's that, and the other one is this one, which is much more artistic looking. As a matter of fact, that's a scene from, well, I'll show it to you in a moment. And the overarching theme of the entire series, no crying until the ending. Oh, buddy. I don't know if this is going to hit the feels as much as Earthbound did, but, I mean, it's the first, it probably does. 
It also gives you a neat little rundown of the game. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for his wife, she never returned. Eighty years have passed since then. Dun dun! So there's that. And again, this was never released in uh, North America, so I couldn't find any English-speaking commercials for it, but I did find a very brief, very strange commercial for this game that was released in Japan. It's only like 30 seconds long, but... Oh, buddy. So here it is. Here, here we go. Enjoy. But yeah, like, like, think of how ballsy that is. It just, like, in the ad itself for the game, it calls it a guaranteed masterpiece. <laughs> I mean, according to a lot of people, it kind of is. So, hey, you know, maybe they knew what they were talking about. But yeah, no, it's just a couple of kids exploding a giant robot while this third kid looks on. So yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll dive into this. I, I will again say, full disclaimer, I know the general story of like all three mo games in the Mother series, but I have never played the first one, or the third for that matter. So this is going to be interesting. So, let me get everything set up here for it. Put this over there. Gets to do some screen rearranging. All right, all right, cool. So let me switch over to the Nintendo, and we shall begin. And I hope all of this works. This was a very slapdash way of me putting everything together today. So we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, there we go. We'll see, see what happens. Produced by Nintendo. Presented by Shigesato Itoi. Mother. New game. Now see, I could name the main character after myself, but um, I don't think I'll be doing that. Let, let, let's let's stick with the um, let's stick with the basics here. So, if I remember correctly, the main character of this game was actually called Ninten because Nintendo, I guess. So we'll go with that. And I think the girl's name was Anna. I legit have to look this up because I want to make sure I get this right. Because <laughs> I think it was Ninten, Anna, Lloyd, and I think a dude named Teddy joins you afterwards. Ninten, Lloyd, Anna, Teddy. Yep, alright. We have to get it right. This other boy's name? Yeah, apparently in the original because... Well, at least in some translations of the original because they couldn't quite get the name right, I don't think. I think his name was like L-O-I-D or something like that. This looks a little bit more natural, shall we say? Shall we say? No, you, Lloyd. This last boy's name. Teddy. 
Alright. What is your favorite food? Hmm. Good question. Good question. I could be very vulgar about this, but I shall not. Well, I mean, we can't be a liar. You can't beat a good cake. What is your favorite food? Cake. Is this okay? Sure, why not? In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. But he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Now that's just what it said on the other thing I read, but you know. Eighty years have passed since then. Okay, it's been a while since I've played Earthbound. I assume this controls the same way. Whoa, what? Lamp? <laughs> Lamp appears! It's amazing how much of the music is pretty much the same as it was in Earthbound, though. They, they use the same stuff. Lamp attacks! I don't know what the hell you were smoking before this game started, Nintendo. Lamp, stop moving! You won! No problem. I mean, my lamp just attacked me, but no problem. Also, the house seems to be spazzing out. I assume that's my sister. Lamp appears! I always knew this day would come. The appliances are revolting. They've had up to here with our bullshit. It's like our house is falling apart. Ah! Yeah, kind of. Don't worry, it's just an alien invasion, I presume. Help! What, what, what is... Oh, that's disturbing. Doll appears. I cast the out, devil doll! I see the um, odometer stall hit point meter didn't get created until uh, Earthbound, but that makes sense. It's highly unlikely they would have had the tech um, for that in this particular console generation. And this doll's hard as nails. Aha! Doll, stop moving! You won! Guts rose by two, speed rose by three, status rose by three, vitality rose by two, IQ rose by two. I gotta get me some smurfs by beating up a possessed doll. The mysterious phenomenon has stopped for now. Whew, that was scary. Oh, I think I see something inside my broken doll. There's an old music box inside the doll. As Ninten opened the music box, a melody began to play. Ninten, learn the melody. 
He's got quite the ear for music, that kid. Here's some juice, big brother. You must be pretty thirsty. You know, after getting attacked by all the random appliances. Rich with vitamin C restores all hit points. A little HP. It's locked. Ninten picked up the telephone. Ninten, hello, son. Hmm, I see. Sounds like it must be some sort of poltergeist. I knew I shouldn't have bought that house on the old burial grounds. I'm not sure what to do about it either. But your great grandfather did study Psy at one point. Perhaps there's something in the basement that'd help. I know I put the basement key somewhere, but I can't remember where. Anyway, you're our only hope, son. Now is the time for an adventure! Go forth, Ninten! Figure out how the hell to deal with this. Protect us all! Click. Come on, Dad. Are you okay, Ninten? What on earth happened to our home? I'm so scared. If only your father were here now. Instead, that deadbeat left. Dog. You understand animal talk, right? And here's a hint. Try checking me. Wolf. Okay. The basement key hangs on the dog's collar. Nintendo took it. That's a great hiding place, Dad. I love this song. Nintendo's house. I'm Minnie. Can I help you? Um... I presume you're my sister? It's locked. We'll see about that. <laughs> Eat! Eat the basement key! And to unlock the door and went inside. Never realized our basement was so goddamn creepy. And full of gifts. Ninton opened it. A cracked bat. Ninton took it. A quick cracked bat. Ah, hello, Rolls. Welcome to the stream. We'll see how well this goes. I got a bread. Delicious a bread. A Gramps Diary! Oh man, this music is freaking me out. Let's leave this place. Most of the diary is unreadable, but one part did stand out. The password. Where is the god's tale? That which the ship that soars the heavens abandoned. I see. Crazy old man gibberish. Oh, you're up to two rage quits for the day? Oh boy. <laughs> so is that, that that a record? Have you beaten your rage quit rage quit record yet or Well like I told you before, I'm going to leave the, the the glitch runs and stuff to the professional, i.e. you. I'm presuming you're a professional, yes? So it seems the flowers are solid, so I can't walk by them. <laughs> you're lucky your laptop screen hasn't shattered yet. I, I, I can honestly say, as frustrated as I've gotten with video games before, I've never broken anything yet. I've come close. I've come close. I'm not 100% certain on where I need to go. Let's just follow the path and hope for the best. Seem to be 
lot of bridges. Well, if this was laid out the same way... <laughs> Why is your mu mic muted most of the time? You're the king of cursing. And you're shocked that your N64 controller is still working because of the amount of times it's gone flying? Well, as you probably saw while I was streaming Shadows of the Empire, I probably came pretty damn close to breaking my N64 controller while I was going through the friggin' fight with a gladiator droid. That thing. Oh. Oh look, a fight! Stray dog appears! Ouch. I get the feeling I should probably use that, um, orange juice in a moment. Which is funny, because I have a glass of orange juice right here. True immersive gaming! You won! It's amazing how these games are very frequently just, yeah, just go beat the terror out of the wildlife, you'll be fine. You gain power by beating up stray dogs, because you're the hero. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh me, oh my! Oh me, oh my! Oh me, oh my! Oh me, oh my, I think I'm gonna die? Actually, no, oh, oh me... Oh me, oh my, I heard my old wife cry. Oh me, oh my, I think I'm gonna die. Bet she wishes she never took this excursion around the bay. But it, it's it's a old song. <laughs> my dear little Pippi's gotten lost. If you're going into town, please tell the mayor for me, okay? Sniffle, sniffle, sob. I guess I can't go into your house and rummage through your things, all right. I presume the town is down here somewhere. Mother's Day! Okay. Oh wait, I think... I think the theme naming of this particular game, or at the very least this particular translation of the game, is that every town is named after a holiday. So, how fitting that Mother's Day is the name of this particular one. Nobody's there. there. There's someone right there. Did a poltergeist attack your house? One tore mine apart. I guess I can't go in every house. Might not be able to go in any houses. Don't know. Oh wait, no, I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a meddlesome mouse. You can only enter some houses and towns, but you can go into any house with a round door or sign. Okay. Try to enter the others and you'll just hit your head. Well, bye. It's not very meddlesome. You're giving me useful information. That's that's very non-indicative of your name, my friend. Do you know how to deal with ghosts? You didn't just come from the cemetery, did you? No. Someone must be controlling the dead! I mean, sure. Seems likely. that or it's time for the appliances to rise up. The Canary Village is northwest of here. You should definitely go and visit it. The mission is free! Oh, they don't have a toll out in front of the town? Okay. Animals have suddenly gone violent and the dead have risen! What should we do? I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. <gasps> can I stay without any money? This hotel is cheap, but that's about the only good thing going for it. Exhausted? Go to the hotel. That's it, really. I mean, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Well, have yourself a nap, you'll be fine. Yeah. 
yeah, that would be great, a great, great advice if I had any money. I do not. Will the zombies take over our town too? Please say you're not a zombie. Are you? I yes. I yeah. You're a stupid zombie head. Ah! <laughs> Zombies have feelings too, you know. You don't need to be such a dick about it. Stupid zombie head. The animals are locked in the zoo. They've all gone berserk, you see. Ah, oh, yes. Bread is good for when you're hungry, but I bet you could use its crumbs to mark your trail. It's none of my business, though. You can withdraw cash from the store's machine, but you need an ATM card to use it. If you ask me, that's not very convenient. I just want to get a crowbar and pry the damn thing open and then, you know. I quite admire the man over in Canary Village. So I have to actually go into my goods and use the ATM card. Welcome. Withdrawal. Deposit. Uh, withdrawal. Current balance, $65. I will take exactly that much, thank you. Ninten is not good with his money. Uh, okay, it's a item return dealio. Drugs! Welcome. What can I get you? Antidote, asthma spray, medicine, bulk spray. Bulk spray is 300 bucks? Sports goods. I have severe questions about this place. I'll save up my cash monies, thank you. Foods. Head. Something must be controlling all the animals. As you can see, all the animals escaped. All we have left is this canary chick. Want it? Sure. How about $85? That's highway robbery. How about for free? Eat. No. It has a lonely look in its eyes. Buddy, I imagine your pet store is not going to last very long if A, all the animals have gone berserk and escaped, and B, you're just giving away the last animal you have. Talk to you, dammit. The receptionist in City Hall? She's so pretty. What's the sign say? Mother's Day Town Hall. Hi, I want to report a lady who's missing her animal. I don't know what it is. Some kind of creature. I have a secret to share with you later. Okay. I need an adult. I'm Abbott, the mayor. Assistant. The mayor is right over there. Hey, Abbott! This task's a big one, but I have high hopes for you. Well, you see, a child has strayed into the cemetery. And my luck, I'm up for re-election soon. So please, help me. <coughs> yeah, sure. Oh, you'll do it? You'll rescue her? Come back alive and you'll be a hero! I'd go with you, but I'm, um, not feeling that well. Come back alive and you'll be a hero! Come back dead and, well, I guess you're a zombie now! That's when we get the stars team to handle this. I think I've already had a chat with him. Where is the cemetery, exactly? Be nice if I had a map. 
I don't know if you can actually get one in this game or not. I know you can in the, uh, in, uh, the sequel. I'm starving! A little girl got lost in the cemetery. Has she been rescued yet? I'm on it, jeez. I'm kind of dealing with my own poltergeist problem. And some weird insanity that my great-grandfather got up to. Zombie! Well, what? Oh, he's a zombie. Though he's a fake zombie. Oh dear. Um... This... This might be bad. Duck and weave, Ninten. Duck and weave. Beat the shit out of this thing. Um, I think I need to run. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. Oh shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> what do you mean it didn't work out? Ninten! Ninten! Seems your head got handed to you. Give it another shot? Sure. And Ninten returned. After summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck, Ninten! Well, at least it didn't start me over right from the beginning. That would have been annoying. Hey, old man. Hello, son. I've deposited $65 into your account. Minus what you've spent, you should have now have zero dollars. Use it wisely. <laughs> yeah, let's save it. Screw it. Dear old dad was about to hit the hay. I've created the record of all your progress. Good night. Continue. You like to work hard, just like your mom. Just don't overstrain yourself, son. I like to, you know, I like to work hard, not like the shiftless asshole that I am. So anyway, lady, I was talking to the mayor. He seems more concerned about zombies than lost pets. So, you know, good luck with that. Lost zombie pets, on the other hand, maybe he's going to be more concerned about. Snake appears. Snake. Smash. That's more like it. Enemies that are remarkably weak. Yeah, let's do a little um, random exploring, see if I can find, I don't know, anything. Puff Zoo, 700 meters west. Let's go east. I guess that must be the zoo they were talking about. Although honestly, that might be where the lady's dog is or whatever it is. Let's go check that out. Wally appears! Oh, okay. <laughs> Wally flew into a rage. Wally's offense. Uh, uh, Wally's offensiveness has ro risen by eight. He's gonna be 
using a lot of colorful language and beating the shit out of me, apparently. My ass is gonna get handed to me by Wally, I think. Oh no, he's done. Alright. Wally became normal! There's nothing normal about Wally. I get the distinct feeling that I should probably not be up here. I should probably just head back towards town. Wally might be some form of beef gate, yes. Beef. Okay, yeah, you don't specify what Pippi is, just that Pippi is missing. Although, you know, Pippi might actually be the girl who's lost in the cemetery and not a pet at all. Come to think of it, that might be the case. Got some nice gams on you there, crow. Dig that tune. Not digging the fact that I nearly got pecked to death, but you won. You intend to level up. Good. I need it. There's no tea left in that. What am I doing? Yeah. Inten learned a new psi power. What's that then? Telepathy. You don't have the power to try that. A smoking crow nearly pecked me to death, and some crazy asshole named Wally beat me up, and oh god. I'll make you some cake, son. Eat some and scoot up to bed. Come back home whenever you want more cake. So it's just like real life. saving all the time. Yeah, let's head back into town. I feel like that's supposed to be my first stop. Just as long as I don't get mauled to death by a goddamn fake zombie. Oh no, it's Wally! Well, I was entirely wrong about that, because apparently he can show up down here, too. Ha! Ah, screw you, Wally. Investigate, shall we? Oh, what's this? Merry village ahead. Let's nurture nature together. Okay then. Spooky looking. Is this the cemetery or is this where Canary Village is? Like, is it a town of canaries? Is that what this is? I, I, 
I have a baby canary, nothing happened. Game. Oh, there we go. There's a human I can talk to. Oh, that canary looks like Laura the Songbird's baby. Go and take it to her. Yes. Now where is Laura? That, that, that's a damn good question. Who is Laura? Do I just have to keep doing this until one of them takes the baby? found your child. I have liberated your child. Happy to see your baby again. Laura began to sing. Mint had learned the melody. Cool. I assumed I was going to have to fight a boss of some sort to get these melodies, but so it would appear not. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be quite as involved as Earthbound is, but, I mean, you know, you gotta consider when this game was released. Things were a bit more simplistic then. Hippie appears! Oh, hey, man! The other thing about these games, or at the very least the first two, is like it just seems to be a very strange view on American culture through the lens of a Japanese guy who was probably never in the States. It's like, oh yeah, there's, there's like random farmers and hippies are a thing. If he became normal, I hirshed his buzz. life up. I've learned life up, but I don't think Nintendo knows how to use any Psy powers yet. I don't even know where the hell the cemetery is, my good man. Although I would like to know where it is. Uh, oh yeah, no, I need to use the ATM card. Yeah! I want all the monies, thank you. Let's upgrade my weapon. I shall buy that slingshot, my good man. I have to sell my items to this guy down here. Well, not him. Not the druggist. He doesn't want a baseball bat. Unless it's to, you know, scare away ne'er do wells. Hmm. 
All right, let's go buy some grub, aka healing items. Aren't you Ninten? That snot-nosed kid who sat near me in kindergarten? <laughs> Excuse me? We'll see if I save the world now, you jerk. Buy a hamburger. Buy some fries. And some orange juice, because why not? Let's just get a full meal. Start heading south again. Oh, is that jerk still here? You there, you fool! Time for round two. I'm going to slingshot the ever living crap out of you. See? Told you. Fake zombie returned to dust, but he was fake. Did, did I did I just dust a living person? Nintendo's gone all Thanos on this. Say, you think of going to the cemetery? I thought you were a sensible boy. <laughs> Buddy, you don't know the half of it. Nobody's there. Hey, come back. <laughs> you get to be a zombie, too! No, I do not, sir. No, I do not. That's to you, zombie man. I guess this path leads down to the cemetery. Snake! Oh, I'm actually starting to run a little bit low on hit points. Should probably fix that. Of course, at the same time. At the same time, most of the enemies don't seem to be too dangerous. Quest! Healer's Hat! Healer's house. Yes, you heard me. Healer's house. Bridge path. Cemetery. Don't walk alone. Let's go check out the healer's house. Ah, it's basically a save point. Believe it or not, I'm a healer. I can restore your PPE or cure friends turned to stone. Refresh. That will be eighteen dollars. No. Oh, okay, if you say so. So nothing about, um, hit points, then. Well, at the very least, let's see if we can clear out the cemetery. Should probably heal myself before I do anything. Let's drink some OJ. Again, the immersion. I think they'd have better landscaping in the cemetery, but sure, a bunch of dead trees, why not? That's fine. I suppose there's no hidden 
thingamabob- uh, vague burp burp. No hidden thingamabobs around the cemetery, is there? No, I suppose not. <laughs> Very deliberate music shift. No problem. Spooky gravestone, no problem. Sanctuary! I'd like to help all the zombies become friendly by teaching them about God. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> sure. Yes, Rolls, that is actually just OJ today. I, I, I never was much for uh, mixing booze with orange juice. Of course, my, uh, my brother, for a while, one of my brothers anyway, was very fond of a particular drink called a Harvey Wallbanger. Basically, it's a screwdriver, except you put Galliano in it, so it's got, like, sort of a vanilla flavor. It's actually not that bad of a drink, come to think of it. Maybe I need to get some Galliano. Okay. <laughs> but to be honest, zombies freak me out. You're no man of the cloth. Go out there and convert, convert the rotting masses. See, that's the thing they don't get right about zombie apocalypse sto stories. All you need to do is to go out there with a crucifix and just convert them all and they'll be fine, right? That that's how it works. They just need to know about the word of the Lord. One of the things that this particular patch does is apparently it does lower the encounter rate. I say as soon as we get into a fight. But apparently the encounter rate is super high in the original version of this game. And now it actually honestly seems a little bit on the low side, but I don't know. Seem like there's a lot of a lot in the way of exploration here either. It's just, you know, fairly straightforward paths, which to be honest, for a game of this type, that's kinda nice. Because a lot of NES games, especially of this type, are like big open worlds and no direction on where you're supposed to go. Of course that being said, I kinda wanna go over there. As far as the wall. Ghost appears! One weird looking ghost. They look like Slimer's off brand cousin. Let's have myself a big juicy hamburger. I get the distinct feeling I probably should have bought more recovery items, but oh well. I got my ass handed to me here. Oh, it'll only plop me back at the healer's house anyway. Mr. Betty A appears! Mr. Betty B appears! <laughs> Mr. Betty A is feeling funky. He's seeing right through reality now. <laughs> I keep missing he keeps feeling he keeps feeling funky and reeling. That looks suspicious. What's this? Oh, you know, just doing a little spelunking. A little tomb raiding, as it were. 
Intent to open the coffin. Inside of it was... Vampire? No, a zombie. Smash! Too slow, zombie man. Again, they're called fake zombies, though, so... I'm assuming this child I'm looking for is in one of these coffins. Inside of it was... A kid! I'm Pippi. I'm lost. You're a really brave kid, huh? No. <laughs> Do you think we'll meet again? Sure. Oh, I'm so happy. Here, this badge can be a symbol of our bond. Take it with you. Okay, let's go back to town. But I want to beat up the rest of the zombies. I'm too scared. You lead the way, Ninten. Oh, Pippi is a temporary party member. Interesting. Um. Oh yeah, badge. Oh, it's a Franklin badge! Kick ass. Inside of it was! Between the two of us, we'll wreck these undead! I know what you were so scared about, little girl. You seem like you can take care of yourself. See, what happened is she just... like, tore ass completely through the cemetery. It was like ripping zombies to shreds. And then she had to take a little nap in a coffin. It's like, I don't know, I went into a blood rage and I killed a bunch of zombies and then I was in this coffin all of a sudden. This little girl just hulks out and destroys the cemetery. Well, I suppose I could go back out the way I came, but I did notice say, um... There's a break in the wall up here. Where does that go, exactly? The bats! Oh no, not the bats! Damn, you hit hard, Pippi. Unless this is just an alternate way to get back to town, that could be. Or maybe this just leads me nowhere, that's entirely possible too. Now we just fight a shitload of bats, that's fun. Pippi can take a bat out on her own. Let's see. N well, not if that happens. <laughs> Guess we'll try it again.
yeah, no, it looks like this leads me nowhere. Okay. Guess we just have to go all the way back the way we came. That Pippi attacks, but it wasn't there. What you don't understand is Mr. Batty P is an illusion. The rest of them are real, it's just the middle one's not. Or maybe they're all just illusions. Maybe Pippi's just losing her mind. Getting stuck in the coffin may do that to you, I guess. The mobster! Is it like uh, Al Corp's own from um, Dark Side Detective? Is that what this is? Dude seems pretty tough though, all the same. Or, I guess not. Yeah, we should probably bring this girl back before she gets mauled to death by zombies. Or this goofy looking ghost. He doesn't really look all that threatening, does he? But of course, he also really isn't, so there's that. Let's see if I can find my way back without getting lost. I should be fine. Keyword here being should. Now before it gets to this part of the song, it almost sounds like it's going to be the Ghostbusters theme. A little bit. It's a suitably spooky tune, though. And then just immediately shifts. As a matter of fact, this is the song, Being Friends. You know, the one I played at the beginning. Sort of. Except, of course, that version of the song was remixed with a bunch of different uh, songs from this series. I guess we may as well swing in and talk to the mayor first before we bring this kid home. What would he say if I said no? Same thing, I guess. So is it sensible for me to go to the cemetery, or is it sensible for me not to? What do you mean, man? What do you mean? to see. Nobody, apparently. Yes, yes, I can give examinations for $25. Well, no. As if I remember right, doctors and healers can only, like, restore your, like, psi points and, um, any status ailments. The only way to regenerate hit points is to either sleep or eat food. however, see if I can buy a new weapon. No, I need 500. So there's no sense to do that right now, then. I'll be back. Why 
can't you share your secret with me now? Oh, is this Pippi, the lost girl? Stunning work, lad. I knew from the start you showed promise. Clap, clap. Applause. You're lucky, Pippi. Adorable, too. I remember to tell your mother th that the mayor rescued you. And for Ninten, a hundred dollar reward. Say, since you're here, why don't you help with the zoo problem, too? Sure. So you'll go for me? That's wonderful! Ninten, have my assistant Abbott give you the zoo key. Well, I guess this is a goodbye for now. Come by my house later to pick up an item of mine. By the way, do you think my socks are too short? <laughs> um... Seems like an odd thing to ask, but sure, maybe? You didn't have to answer cutie? Oh, okay. Come back alive and you'll be a hero! Hey, I bet. Give me the key. Key to Cream Puff Zoo. Now do you have a secret to tell me? I guess I need to come back later. Mm, that's still not going to be enough to get that bad. Let's have ourselves a little rest, buy some food. Pleasant dreams! This doesn't really doesn't really cut it anymore. I will have a burger though. And um Maybe some more French fries. You know what occurred to me, I probably didn't need to sleep at the hotel because I can just like swing by my own house and my way up to the Actually, no, because the zoo was off from Pippi's house. Let's go check out the zoo then, I guess. I'm good for another half hour or so, I'd say, so... Maybe I'll be able to clear that out too while I'm at it. One thing I like about Earthbound... That I guess isn't going to be the case in this game, because this game is more prone to random encounters. Is that, uh, like, all the enemies are on the world map, and you can avoid them, or, like, if you come at them a certain way, you get initiative, or if they come at you a certain way, they get initiative. But if an enemy is weak enough, the, bo the, the battle will automatically resolve, so it doesn't even bother bogging you down with fighting weak enemies, which is nice. It's probably not going to happen with this because, of course, it's random encounters, so... East Thanksgiving. By Mayor's orders, no one's to cross this bridge until martial law is lifted. I suggest you use the bridge to the east of the zoo instead. I like how in Earthbound, uh, the police station, uh, like, like the police force of the first town on it, they pride themselves on all the roadblocks that they put up. Because, like, they put up roadblocks for no reason, and apparently that's their thing. They're, they're world-renowned for their unnecessary roadblocks. Pippi and I are feeling just dandy now. I mean, maybe she was feeling okay sleeping on that coffin, you don't know. I've heard all of the great things you've done. The only real great thing I've done is rescued you, but okay. You're such a goofball, haha. <laughs> 
D didn't you say you had an item or something to give me? So you already have a special someone, huh? Well, I mean... Nintendo just flat saying no to everybody. It's like, hey, you want to do this job for me? No. You want to go rescue that girl? No. Go save the world? Eh, this has ever done for me lately. Hyena A appears! Hyena B. Hyena B just grins and bears it. Bastard smiling about. Yeah, once I'm done in here, I'll probably have enough for that bat. Hopefully, anyway. Well, that was rather immediate. Tiger appears! What a goofy yet oddly still dangerous looking creature. Oh yeah, it really is. It's going to murder me, apparently. Because it can do combo attacks. That's wonderful. I get the distinct feeling that this is a bad, bad idea. I think I need to run. Let's try it. Down. <laughs> Seems you got your head handed to you. Well, you know, maybe I got bitten off by the giant, goofy, dangerous looking tiger. Oh, that of course plops me down at the last place I saved, which would be there. Yeah, I think, I think it might be a good idea to try to build up enough cash to get that bat. I might have enough for it now, actually. Let's go find out, shall we? but I'm getting there. Let's go beat up on some more woodland critters. Is head back to uh, Nintendo's house. It's probably in the, you know, going up to there and then coming back to town. I should have enough money built up for the bed. And hopefully another level. Of 
course, that being said, I'm probably not going to run into anything else right now. But I'll tell you what, let's uh, explore up to the left first. Protect me, I'm your master! No. As cowardly as uh, King is in Earthbound, at the very least he does tag along with you for a little bit. Does this lead me anywhere interesting, or...? No, it does not. No, it does not. Yeah, I get the feeling exploring off the beaten path isn't really going to yield a lot of rewards in this game. just leads up to the zoo again. Oh yeah, there's the uh, canary place. Okay, it's just another path to the zoo. Makes sense. Kyaka! Doo-doo head! What? The monkey stole the zoo key! Lock was broken, so Nintendo opened the gate. Uh, opened the gate. Crocodile A appears. Crocodile B appears. I mean, that's not fantastic, but I might be able to defeat these things. Not as bad as that damn tiger, at least. Imagine the absurdity of this, though. Though it's like, oh, hey, kid, you just happen to wander into town. Uh, there's a bunch of zombies that possibly kidnapped a little girl. Go deal with that. Also, yeah, all the animals in the zoo have lost their minds. You know, the tigers, the hyenas, the crocodiles. Maybe, maybe you go deal with that too. Oh, you mean our police force? Oh, no, no, they have to keep everyone from leaving until this is solved. Yeah. Let's head back to town and buy that bat. That should hopefully have given me enough money for it. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I can actually move faster. I, I don't know if that's something that was in the original or if that was just added for this particular patch. Either way, I should really start making use of that. Everybody seems to move faster when I do that. Yes, yes, that's enough. It's not... It's just kind of just enough, but it's enough. I would like that T-ball bat, my friend.
This should work well against weak enemies in Nintendo. Good to know. So what does it say for the, um... Slingshot? A simple weapon that anyone can use. What will you give me for my crazy grandpa's old diary? No, I should probably not uh, sell that. I probably can't even sell that, let's be honest. Alright, let's swing by the house and uh, save it one more time and then we'll go into the zoo. See if I can't get mauled to death by wild animals again. Some more cake. Yes, let's do that first. You're hurt! I'll make you some cake, son! Eat some and scoot up to bed. I'll just make you some cake. Bandage your wounds with cake. That's Nintendo's mother's answer for everything. Arms hanging off because you got mauled by a tiger? Cake. You should now have zero do uh, dollars. Yet finished assaulting the wildlife. You know, much like this uh, crow with the long gams and the cigarette. See, the creepy music also applies to the zoo. No problem. Killer bunnies, I presume? better, but it's not bad. Seven, nine hit points, that's a bit more of what I would expect. I don't like the fact that he keeps dodging every now and then, though. There we go. powers do I have? Telepathy, life up, and antidote. Alright. If Nintendo's anything like Ness, he really isn't much for offensive magic type abilities, though. And does. So the question is, what is it I'm even supposed to be doing in here? I mean, it appears the zoo is a problem, but, like, is there somebody orchestrating this that I have to go beat up, or...? Let's go explore the other side of the zoo if I can. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Penguins! Nobody is there. There's a penguin there. What are you talking about? That's a somebody. This does not seem to be the proper climate for these penguins, but okay. Penguin. What's up here? More monkeys. Oh wait, no, this is just... 
that area again. Let's see if I can get over to the right. First I have to beat up this gorilla! Son of a bitch stole my french fries! Those aren't good for gorillas. Honestly, they're not good for me either, but I'm still gonna eat them. Except now I can't because the gorilla stole them. Perhaps I should take a healing item though all the same. I'll eat my other french fries. Um. Ah, this way. Moving so fast. Ah, uh, lovely flamingos. What's that building over there? Team Puff Zoo, the world's only singing monkey. Uh, that's the son of a bitch I gotta track down, no doubt. Ah yes, I have to find the monkey. The monkey teaches me in our part of the song. That makes sense. Well, I mean, as much as anything in this game makes sense. What was the song say? Cream Puff Zoo, manager's office. That's probably where it went. Rat A appears! Rat B appears! Somebody call for an exterminator? Hey, what's this? A rope! So, does this uh, get me out of here? I think that's what the ropes were for in the other game. Use this to tie up the enemy. Oh no, I have to use it to um, trap the monkey, it seems. And that's one groovy looking centipede. Oh wait, so it's only got two feet and all the others are hands? That's That seems strange. Antidote. An antidote, but you know, the song of the game says. <laughs> that poor goofy looking rat. It knows how badly screwed it is. Oh no, this child is going to murder me! And increase his murder and pow power, therefore. Or therefore increases murdering power, I suppose. Yes. Sentence structure, there you go. So I learned a new side power, but I guess I might not be able to see it in this menu. Probably only in battle. Hell is that? Something leapt out of the capsule. Oh, it's a Starman. Starman Jr., you say? Well, let's use this. Well, that sucks. That also sucks. Okay, that's good. <laughs> good old Franklin badge. I should be able to just slug it out with this thing then. Although I should heal myself. 
Tasty burger. sound driving the animals crazy stopped. The zoo was safe once more. Be medicine. Although I guess what it could be is that I, um, like, I, I guess the rope must just be an item I can use in battle to incapacitate the enemy for a little bit. I thought I had to tie up the damn monkey at some point. Peace has returned to the land, for now. Although now suddenly there's aliens, or not so suddenly, I mean, you know, it's kind of what these games are about. Oh, hey, there's the monkey again. The singing monkey sang with passion. Pretty good. I've learned a few notes of this song. Let's go down and have a chat with the useless, useless mayor. That might be it for this for today, I think. We'll see. Hello, my penguin brethren. I'm glad I didn't have to fight any of them. That would be tragic. I cannot fight my own kind! I feel like there was an easier way to get out of here, but nah, uh, yeah, let's, let's just do this. Nope, that's a dead end. Of course, maybe another way I can look at this is that penguins seem to have enough fortitude to resist weird alien possession. Do this stray dog. It's not gonna end well for you. See? Is the secretary now going to tell me what her dark secret is? Or is that just some random thing? I'll never know the secret. her later. You useless bugger ya! Your, your animal problem has been solved. No, it's Ninten, the hero! You have tiger droppings on you. Well, I mean, I became tiger droppings there for a minute, but... I'm just kidding. Sorry, nothing for you this time. <laughs> you're, you're kidding me. You're kidding me! You jerk. Hello, Ninten, how are you doing? Everyone's talking about a girl with special powers. You heard about her? I guess that's the secret? Not much of a secret. I mean, I guess now the roadblock's been taken care of. Well, let's go investigate. Okay, so I guess I just need to go up towards the zoo and head east from that direction. Oh no! Oh no, a hippie! My greatest enemy! Or... Whoa. <laughs> you, 
You're a disgrace to your mother! Nintendo's guts fell by 22. Apparently the hippie's main mode of attack is just making you feel bad. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong, you dirty hippie. I'm going to go back and my mother is going to make me cake! Do disgraces get cake? I don't think so. Of course, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, this is the... Where the hell does this lead? Oh, okay, that's probably... yeah. Screw that, I'm gonna go back and get cake. Little saucer appears! The truth is out there. I'm going to beat the crap out of it with my baseball bat. That's probably the direction I need to go, though. But that can wait for later. Do you have anything new to say? No. No, you do not. We're just going to ruin the snake's life by ending it. I require some cake, mother. Yes, it's Mother's Day playing mother and talking about my mother's cake. There's a reason why I chose to play this game today. Also, th th this this is something else too, right? It, it must be, I don't know how it works in the third game, but this is how it works in Earthbound too. It's like, you don't pick up money from enemies like a normal RPG, but like you get money depending on how many enemies you've beaten from your father, your, your deadbeat dad who never makes a physical appearance. So it's like, so your father is paying you to beat the shit out of, at least initially, random wildlife. Your allowance is based on how many enemies you crush underneath your baseball bat. It seems very strange. I presume by this, he got kicked out of the house, because I, I can't imagine the mother would truck with that kind of bullshit. No, that is not how my allowance works. I'm not just going to go go around and start kicking sp stray dogs and snakes and stuff. And we're a great team, aren't we? Well, if if you keep paying me money to crush my enemies, then yes, we're a great team. Remember to hold reset while turning the power off. Click. And then back to the beginning of the thing. Anyway. That's going to do for that for today. Um, it's, it's pretty bare bones in comparison to uh, Earthbound, which of course is the one I'm more familiar with, but no, nah, it's good. It, it's easy to see how this was the beginning of it and like... They just built on the themes more in the second game, which I am going to stream at some point, of course. I really, I really am looking forward to doing that, but I figured I might as well handle this one first. Oh yeah, no, and thanks for dropping by, Rolls, and well, anyone, any, and anyone at all who happened to drop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so, and hopefully you find folks will join me next time, which will be Tuesday, hopefully. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, Maybe more Animal Crossing, maybe more Resident Evil. Two very, very different games, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, that will be it for now. Until next time, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great day. So long.